This is a review of the first bar of Amazing Grace. And we'll be looking at setting our fingers up and then playing through that first bar together. So let's get started. First thing we wanna do is make sure our hand placement is proper on the chanter. And one of the things we talked about at your last lesson there, Ethan, was placing the bottom hand fingers not so far that you're playing like on the knuckles, right? We don't want that. We wanna be further away from that, okay? And a good way to do that, to get that right, is to put your pinky finger on the bottom hole here, the low A hole, and then go ahead and put the other fingers on like that, and then get your thumb back on there, okay? And then you should end up being more like at this position, okay? You you could be here, but we're, we're looking for maybe about there if possible. All right, let's get a low G sound check to make sure everything is covered. Uh... Okay, once you have the low, low G sound check, we're gonna go ahead and put our fingers in the low A position, which is just putting the pinky up like that. Let's check low A. Uh, okay, so we have a good low A. You're gonna keep your fingers where they are. And we're gonna be looking at the music and we're gonna notice that the first note in Amazing Grace is a G grace note. And so the G grace finger is the pointer finger on your left hand. So you're gonna lift that in the air and that's the first sound we're gonna hear when we blow into the chanter. And then right after that is a low A. So we're gonna do a G grace note to low A like this. Okay, so that's the first sound that gets you to the, f in the first note of the pickup notes of the tune. The next note is a D. If you look at the music, it shows a D. So we're gonna to go to D after that A. So that, putting those two notes together with the leading G grace note, sounds like this. Again. Again. Now at any time during this video, feel free to pause it and try this on your own. Now we've gotten through the first two notes of the beginning of Amazing Grace. They're called the pickup notes because they come before the bar line. So we've done. The next thing we see on the page in the music is a D strike. And you may remember from your previous lesson, the D strike is you're already in the D note from the previous note, you're on D. You do a G grace note and a C grace note, like that. The D strike itself goes like this. Notice I'm playing the D first because we're playing from the note before, the D that's in the pickup notes. Again. 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 Okay, so now we have the first three notes of Amazing Grace. Let's start from the beginning with the G grace note raised right at the beginning. And we'll play the first three notes through that D strike. Again. 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 Notice that in between, in between these um, these notes or these little little samples, I'm going back into the low A position to get the G finger ready when we start. So, so we're starting right. We're in the low A position. High G grace note finger is up. Again, low A position. G fingers up. One more time, low A position, G fingers up. I would like you to pause the video here and try it on your own, just those first three notes through the D strike. Okay, we've gotten to the, the, the D strike, the end of the D strike in the first bar of Amazing Grace. And you're on the D, you've just played the strike, and the next three notes are F, E, and D, but there's a grace note on that F. 
What is that grace note? It's a high G grace note, isn't it? High G. You can see it on the music. So when you're done with the D strike, let's go back to that D strike and the music. If you look at it, your fingers are in the D position, right? You need to play a G grace note and then land on F, right? So that transition from D after the strike with a G grace note to F, we need to work on that. So let's just practice that transition only. We'll play a D. In slow motion, what's happening here is I'm going, I'm in D position, I bring the D fingers down as I lift all these fingers up, these three, and then bring the F finger down. Again. 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 Keeping in mind, we're starting on the D that's left over from the D strike, right? As you get better at this, you can make the grace note faster. So what I would like you to do now is pause the video and try the transition from the D with the G grace note to F on your own. Okay, we've gotten to the F in the first bar of Amazing Grace. The rest is pretty easy. You've already done the hard work. We've just played a, a G grace note to F from D. We did And what are the next two notes? If you look at the music, it's E, D. So what I want to do is put together those, those three notes, F, E, D. Okay, we're going to do that. F, E, D. F, E, D. I played it slower there in case that's helpful, because right now you might be wanting to make sure you get very clean transition from that E to the D. No crossing sounds, right? F, E, D. Again. 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 So now we have gotten to the end of bar one of Amazing Grace. What we're going to do now is put it all together. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to start at the beginning of the music and we're going to have our fingers in the low A position. Uh. Sound check for low A. We're gonna have our G grace note finger up in the air and we're gonna go nice and slow. Ready? One, two. There it is. Let's try it again from the beginning. Low A position, G grace note finger in the air. One, two. Again, starting over, low A position, G finger in the air. One, two. One more time. Starting from the beginning, G, or excuse me, low A position, G grace no finger in the air. Ready? One, two. Okay, that's the end of this lesson. The next lesson will be the entire first line of Amazing Grace. Have fun.